and talk about the final exam real quick. I'm recording this for the two people that aren't here. Uh, and then I'm going to give you guys time to, work, time to work. Right now, if you guys go to the final exam section, this is what you will see. Okay, Up here are three years worth of previous final exam reviews available for you to watch. And in the first one, I have to be wearing the exact same shirt I'm wearing now, just by coincidence. Anyway, uh, and I seem to be very in a good mood that day because I'm like running around, dancing, talking too loud. I was listening to, I was like, I look like I was on something that day. Anyway, so I want to make sure everybody understands how final exams work because many of you or most of you have never taken a semester exam. In this class, when you come in here, uh, what will happen next class is this is what that section will look like, and you will see nothing else in the course. Okay, The entire course will automatically be gone. You will have the semester exam right there, for chapters 1 through 4. You will have this uh, section on the PowerPoint requirements for the last presentation available to you because there are questions that say, does this fit business, gamer, or home? And I don't expect you to have that memorized, so that's there. And the previous four chapter books are there, which you do not have time when you have 50 questions to read all four of these books and find out what's in them at that time. They're there for you to reference. Um, but that's what will be available to you. Right now um, are those videos, the books, and links to all four of the previous fights. A majority, not all, of the questions will come from those previous fights. That only makes sense since it's a summative exam over the whole thing that I wouldn't make up all new questions. Some of them are new. I will tell you right now, Chapter 3, PC Power Calculation, is not one you've seen exactly before. It's a different PC, so you can't go and say, it's 135. I remember that from the Chapter 3 test because that will not be the right PC. Okay? So what you should do with your time today is go back through these tests. They show, they're show they set to show the right answer and what you answered. Write stuff down in your notes. It's still open note. So anything you write in your notes is available to you during the final exam. So if you go back to chapter one and say, I don't remember that, write it down in your notes and then you'll remember it during the test. Because it's 20% of your semester exam, Semester tests can totally change your grade one way or the other. You get a 20% of 100 added on to anybody's grade, and it will probably, unless you already have an A, will probably bring you up a whole plus or minus. Likewise, if you go and get an F on it, it will probably bring you down a whole plus or minus, if not a whole letter. So I want you to take your time, use it wisely, <clears throat> go through those, uh, take the time to listen. You can turn it on and listen to this while you're going through that, and... Uh, put on headphones, please, while you do that. Does anybody have any questions on how it works? Okay. I have gone through and redone the test. Um, this is the this will be the first year anyone's done this semester exam. Every single I can in the entire first four chapters is covered by at least one question. Some I cans are covered by three or four because it is more important. Like the I can that says, How do you enter bio? Do you know how to enter BIOS? Probably doesn't need more than one question. Whereas the ICANN of uh, what is an operating system or what's the boot order might be covered by the Okay, so take your time today to go through those tests to remind yourself what those chapters were. Take notes in your notebook and watch the video with headphones. If you do not have headphones with you, this big huge bucket right here is full of headphones and you are more than welcome to borrow a set of headphones. Yes, how many questions are there? Um, 50-ish. So about the same as a fight to fight? Yes. I, it, it's not intended to make it so that you can't get through it. Okay. You know, obviously that would be neat. And if you're going from this class to another test, I don't want anybody to have to go old, right? You need to be able to be done. So in actuality, it's probably shorter than some of the fights, but because there's so much material covered, there are ones that you're going to go to this book and review and go, I want to make sure if you're smart, you go back and look. Okay, I would use the marking tool while you're taking the test and go through the whole test and then go back to look up the ones in the books that you've marked that you're not sure. Right.
No questions? Okay, I'll leave you alone. I wish I could talk, and I would do the review if I could talk better, but I cannot.